Hello, my dear AI enthusiasts! Today I want to talk with you about a new model, Stable Cascade, that was released a few days ago by Stability AI. So, what's so important about this model? Well, they claim it to be faster than stable diffusion because it uses a lot smaller latent space to encode the images. So, this allows you to train checkpoints and loras and generate images much faster than you can do it with stable diffusion. There is still no official support of uh, this model in such uh, popular UIs like ConfiUI and Automatic 11.11. But uh, we are still going to have a sneak peek on this model and the workflow with it uh, using a custom node in ConfiUI. Well, of course, you can just use an official notebook uh, that provided in the GitHub repo of this model, but unfortunately, it will require uh, 20 gigabytes of RAM in your GPU, and uh, for my uh, Collab Pro, it's just impossible to run it. Uh, because it has just 15 uh, gigabytes. So if you are in the same situation, but you still want to run and try this model, watch this video, I'll show you how to do that. So in this video, we're going to use Google Collab Pro and ConfUI Notebook to run uh, this new stable cascade model. And uh, first, uh, go and just save this uh, notebook to your Google Drive. Uh, to do that, just click on the link below the video and go to the file and save a copy in a Drive. So that's my copy of the notebook and I will just uh, rename it to the Stable Cascade, not to forget which one is that. And then we need just to run the first cell and don't forget to hit this checkbox, use Google Drive, so it mounts ConfiUI on your Google Drive. And now I'm going to run this and it will take some time. So here there is a prompt that will ask you to use your Google Drive, you just allow it to use and it will continue installation. Okay, so the installation has been completed and you will see all these logs here that say that stuff is installed, requirements are installed and downloaded. And now we can move to the next cell. And in this cell, we are going to download uh, the stuff that we need to run uh, our stable cascade. So you see here, it says that you can download some models and uh, checkpoints or com custom ConfUI nodes and you need to uncomment stuff here. Uh, so there are two things that are uncommented by default. It is um, 1.5 stable diffusion and VAI for that and all other stuff is commented out. So what we're gonna do here, we're going to add a line to install our custom node for stable cascade and where we're gonna get it, I'll show you in a second. So we can just go to Google and um, Stable Cascade ConfUI and then you're gonna end up in uh, with this repo uh, ConfUI Stable Cascade using diffusers and this is what we need to install. Uh, so now how to install custom nodes uh, in our uh, collab uh, ConfUI. So we're going to uh, do the following. If you uh, go back to your um, collab file and you can see here uh, we have this line uh, control net preprocessor nodes and it is commented out but we can use it as an example so we can just uh, copy this. Um, so basically what it does here uh, it um, goes to the directory for custom nodes and then it clones the repo and uh, then it installs uh, the uh, custom cell, uh, custom node, sorry. So here we are going to replace the link to the repo with our uh, stable cascade link and then we are going to again replace the directory name because it will clone it to the directory with this name. So we change it here. And then instead of running python install.py, uh, we are going just to run uh, install requirements. Uh, we'll do it this way. Uh, 
Uh, so you even see that there are suggestions. So that's our line of code that will install our custom node. And now we just need to hit this play button and run this cell that will install our standard stable diffusion model and our custom node for uh, stable cascade. So let's run it. Uh, again, it's going to take some time um, because it is going to clone the repo, install dependencies and also download this model. So uh, let's wait a bit. And it's not necessary to download this one, uh, the stable diffusion one, if you're not going to use stable diffusion, but I will download it just to uh, run a comparison if this um, new model is really faster than old stable diffusion. So that's why I decided to download it. But if you don't want to do that, if you just want to run stable cascade, then you don't have to do that. Now let's wait for our stuff to be downloaded and installed and again we'll get back to it uh, in a few minutes. Okay, we are done now. Uh, we installed our uh, dependencies, we installed our custom node and uh, next we are going to run this uh, last cell. I mean it's not the last in this collab but for us it's going to be the last one. We are going just to run our UI and um, then we will be able to uh, try our custom node. So let's uh, run it and wait for it to give us a link. Okay, so now we are getting this link and we can click it and uh, it will launch our conf UI. And here we see our default workflow and for now we are just going to add a group and uh, add this workflow to the group and skip it because we don't want to run this one. What we want to do is to run our, um, our new uh, node and uh, to add it we are just going to double click here in this black area, in the black empty area and search for cascade and you can see our custom node is here and if you click it uh, you'll get this simple node that has some configurations and has prompt and negative prompt so to run it uh, we're going to also add an image here and we will add this save image node. Uh, you can leave the file prefix as you wish and I can just add a cascade here. Um, yeah, so now here we can run on any prompt that we want. I'll just try to run cat in the hat, just whatever you want and let's run Q prompt. And the first time you run it, it's going to download a lot of stuff so it's going to be just a bit longer than usually and we're going to wait for it to run and you see that we are getting an error here and uh, that was uh, what I actually expected uh, because uh, when I did it before I had the same error and you can see that it says uh, cannot load um, stability AI stable cascade snapshot decoder because of the weight expected one shape but got another shape. So what does this error mean? I'll explain you. Uh, if you go here to the files uh, you'll see here your mounted drive and sample data and some stuff. If you go up uh, you're going to see this uh, root folder um, yeah, and in this root folder, uh, if you if you hit this uh, I icon here, you can see the hidden files. And in these hidden files, uh, there is a cache folder, and there is some uh, model from Hugging Face that we downloaded. And in this model, uh, there is a config that was changed in one of the recent uh, versions. So uh, here in this decoder, but unfortunately. I cannot open and change it back in collab. It just doesn't let me do so. So if you are running it in collab and if you're getting the same issue, uh, there is a way to fix it and I will show you how. So what do we need to do? We just need to downgrade the model that we downloaded here. And we're going to do that. It just adding um, one line of code. We're going to stop this for now and we're going to scroll up. So before we are running uh, conf UI here, uh, we are adding another uh, cell of the code and now just uh, paste the line of code here that I will add uh, to the description below the video. So just copy and paste it and this line is gonna be uh, pip install, force screen install, 
and we are going to reinstall these diffusers uh, that are uh, uh, here that uh, this um, error complains about. So just add it here before you run ComfyUI and hit the play button. So again, it's gonna install some stuff, wait a few minutes for it to do so. Okay, so it is installed and now let's try and run our ComfyUI again and let's see if it is gonna work this time. Okay, so uh, let's close the old one. Let's add a new one. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a group. And uh, this group I will make uh, invisible. I mean, it, we're gonna skip it. And now we want to add our cascade node. And in this node, we're just adding save image. And here I'm I'll just, you know, copy paste this prompt from this cell and paste it here. And it has negative prompt as well. I, I'll just, you know, uh, want to test if it's working at all. Uh, so I'm hitting the uh, Q prompt button and uh, again, it is loading stuff here. Okay, so now you see that uh, we are not getting this error anymore. We are getting the uh, log prompt executed. And if you go back here, uh, it's going to load our image in a second, I think. Yeah, it is loaded now. And you see this um, beautiful scenery nature glass bottle landscape. So that's exactly what you see. And now, because the, for the first time, it always is going to download stuff and it takes a lot. It takes like 100 seconds. Uh, now let's try and hit uh, Q prompt again to see uh, how fast it's going to be after we downloaded all the stuff. Uh, okay, now prompt is executed in 22 seconds and let's wait for our picture to update. Yeah, now we're getting another bottle. And uh, so this is... Um, an image uh, 512 by 512 and it is with just default um, configuration and what I'm going to do now I'm going to add a group again um, let me change it yeah let me add it again here and I'm going to skip this and I'm going to go back to our default uh, workflow and set it to always means uh, we are going to run it. And now I want to run uh, our stable diffusion uh, with uh, 1.5 uh, model with the same prompt and the same default settings. And let's see how fast it's gonna work. I just want to check if this new model is really faster than stable diffusion. And you see the picture, you see a bottle and strange landscape. And if you go here, it is executed in 25 seconds that is just slightly longer than our previous execution uh, so it's just three seconds longer and it was the first attempt what if we do another one now it's not loading the model already and the second one seems much faster even here and it is just like three seconds so actually it is not faster than stable diffusion um, but maybe it depends on the model maybe if i change it for example um, to excel one and i'll try to run it with a size of 2024 on 2024 with the same configuration uh, but honestly, I like the results of this new model better than the Stable Diffusion 1.5 ones. Uh, this is a bit uh, ugly to be honest. And this one is much more aesthetic. Now let's wait for the Excel model to work. It takes some time to load the checkpoint for the first time, as you see. Okay, so first time prompt was executed for 184 seconds. And uh, now we're get going to hit it second time and see uh, how fast it is when this uh, checkpoint is already uh, loaded. And so let's wait. Okay, so the second time it was 18 seconds. And now if I again uh, skip this one, 
and go back to our uh, stable cascade and I'm going to change this to 1024 and 1024 again default settings not changing anything Q prompt okay so it generated a new image it is a pretty good uh, high quality image and it took us uh, 163 seconds uh, with a loading all the models and uh, in uh, stable diffusion it took us 184 seconds so it is slightly faster and if we hit the button again when everything is loaded let's see how much time it takes okay so the new image uh, took uh, 73 seconds that is a lot more than stable diffusion excel and 18 seconds so uh, this is a bit strange that the model that actually expected to be faster is slower but this is probably due to my uh, ram limitations because i have here only 15 gigabytes of ram and the uh, custom node in conf ui is a low ram version so probably if i could run it on 20 gigabytes of ram it would be faster than stable diffusion excel or maybe it is due to some misconfiguration in my collab in my conf ui i don't know honestly but for now in my case i can tell that stable diffusion runs uh, faster than uh, stable cascade one uh, but still i uh, I encourage you to download this model to try to play with that because I think um, even if it's still in development it has great potential because you see the quality of image is pretty good and yeah we can also try some different prompt we can try to generate a human for example a portrait of beautiful woman like usually so let's try to generate oh and actually let's try to hit this uh checkbox i'm not sure what this model cpu offload but i want to try it maybe it's going to be faster but yeah let's try to generate something okay that's our beautiful girl and well i can tell this is uh, not a bad result at all um the quality is pretty good and it took us 73 seconds that again is much slower than stable diffusion excel unfortunately so uh, that's it for today i hope it was interesting and useful for you uh, try it yourself and let me know how do you find this new model uh, how do you find its performance and quality and of course don't forget to like and subscribe for my channel and see you in the next videos